This is how you can make an advanced auto mod system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go to get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining my channel memberships or a Discord subscription over on Discord. If you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier on YouTube, you'll get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is interesting to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started and let's go ahead and get to the video so we're gonna go to moderation and we can just go ahead and create automod.js so basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be creating automod rules within the server and I'm gonna be showing you how to do this this is very cool because your bot does not actually have to be online to automod because we're gonna be using discourse automod we're just gonna be creating the rules so that it says that it was moderated by your bot and we're gonna create it with your bot we're gonna do const and we can do slash command builder we can do embed builder and we can do permissions bit field and then we can do equals require and we're going to get discord.js and we can do module.export equals and we'll open this up we're going to get data and that is going to be new slash command builder we're going to go and set a name and this is going to be auto mod we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be set up the auto mod system and then we can go ahead and add a sub command we can do command error function command dot set name and that is going to be a flagged words then we can go ahead and set a description here and we can say block profanity sexual content and and slurs and then we can go ahead and add another sub command we can do command arrow function command dot set name and in here we're going to get spam messages and we can go ahead and set a description and in here we're going to say block messages suspected of spam we're actually going to go ahead and copy this so we don't have to type it out again we're going to go ahead and paste it and for our name we're going to go ahead and change that to mention spam and in here we can say block messages containing a certain amount of mentions we can go ahead and add an integer option we can get option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be a number we can do dot set description and here we can get the number of mentions required to block a message and we're going to go ahead and set required to true we can come down here we're going to go ahead and paste it again the last one we're going to get is our keyword in here we can say a block a given keyword in the server and we're going to go ahead and add a string option we can do option arrow function option set name and this is going to be word and we can do dot set description and in here we can say the word you want to to block and then we're going to go ahead and set our required to true we can then add a comma we're going to do async executes we can do interaction and then we're going to go ahead and open this up we're going to do const and we're going to get guild and we're going to get options and then we can do equals interaction then we can do const sub equals options to get sub command now we're going to check to see if the member has permissions so we can do if and we're going to do no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we're going to get permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator we can go ahead and return with interaction dot reply we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to set up auto mod within this server and we're going to go ahead and set that to informal as well now we're going to go in and switch to our sub command and we can open this up we're going to get case and this is going to be flagged words and we can go ahead and add a colon we're going to do await interaction dot reply and say content and in here i'm just going to go ahead and get a loading emoji now we can go ahead and say loading your auto mod rule now we can do const rule equals await build the auto moderation rules dot create and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do name and this is going to be a block profanity sexual content and slurs by and then you can do the name of your bot so tutorial bot now you can really put in whatever you want here but that's basically what i'm going to do now we can do comma and we can do creator id and for me i'm just going to go ahead and put in the id of me or my bot it doesn't matter so then we can set enabled to true because we're turning it on when we do the command we're going to get event type and this is going to be one we can do trigger type and this is going to be four now keep in mind the numbers are going to be different for each one so this one is flagged words so this is the keywords that have been auto generated by discord anything that discord thing is a flagged word is going to block so that's what type four is and then we can do trigger metadata and we can come down here and open this up here we're going to do presets and we can open up an array and we're going to get one comma two comma three now these numbers all stand for either profanity sexual content or slurs but i'm just going to keep them all on we can then go ahead and add a comma we're going to come down here and we can do actions we're going to open this up we can open this up again and we're going to do type which is going to be equal to one then we can do metadata and this is going to be channel this is going to be interaction dot channel we're going to do duration seconds and that is going to be 10 and we can do custom message and this is going to be this message was prevented by and then i'm going to put in the name of my bot so that is going to be tutorial bot auto 
moderation. Now keep in mind that the channel is going to be if you actually set your type to a different number. That's where it would send the flag message if you've ever seen that before. Um, and then the duration seconds is if you want the type to actually time somebody out, that's what this is going to be. We can actually go ahead and put this in the metadata, but because our type one is just gonna go ahead and block the message, none of this is actually gonna matter. We're gonna keep it in anyways. Now we can go ahead and do catch and we're gonna do async error and we can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna do set timeout and we're gonna do async function. We can go ahead and open this up. We're gonna do console.log and we're gonna get error. And then we can do await interaction.edit apply. And we can say content. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pass in our error just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the length of this timeout to 2000 milliseconds as well. So next we can go ahead and set another timeout. So we can do set timeout. So we can actually go ahead and make this a async timeout. So we can do that and we can open this up. We're gonna do if no rule, we can just go ahead and return. Then we can do const embed equals new embed builder. We're gonna go ahead and set a color and that is going to be blue. And then we can go ahead and set a description and we're gonna get our white check mark. And we can say your auto mod rule has been created. And we can say all swears will be stopped by tutorial bot. Now we're gonna go ahead and send this. So we can do wait interaction edit reply. And we can say content and we're gonna leave that blank. And then we can do embeds and we're gonna pass in our embed just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and set the timeout length to 3000 milliseconds as well. So here is the discord.js docs for the properties of auto mod rule creation. Now I'm gonna link this in the description because because this is pretty useful if you want to get the numbers and you can add exempt channels or rules or a reason but i'm not actually going to go ahead and do that for any of this stuff in the video so over in our trigger type we're actually going to get the numbers here as you can see our trigger type is set to four which is keyword preset you can check to see if they are predefined words within discord so the other ones would be keyword where you can actually set a keyword mention spam and just spam so this is pretty easy to do we're just going to go ahead and create this real quick we can come out of here and we're going to do break and then we can go ahead and do case and we can make a key keyword. Then down here, we're actually going to go ahead and copy everything we did in here. And we can just go ahead and paste that right there. We're going to change this to rule two in here. We can go ahead and change the name to prevent the word. And we can pass in a word variable that we're going to create in just a second from being used by tutorial bot. And we're actually going to come up here and we're going to do const word equals options that get string. And that is going to be word. Now, instead of trigger type four, we're actually going to go ahead and set the trigger type to one. And instead of our presets in the metadata, we're going to do keyword filter and we can open up an array and we're just going to go ahead and pass in our word variable just like that. So that's actually all we have to change here. So we're going to update our embed as well. So we can change this to embed two. We're going to change this to rule two. And then right here, we can say all messages containing the word and we're going to go ahead and pass in a word and then we can say it will be deleted. And then instead of embed, we're actually going to change that to embed two as well. So now we can actually go ahead and move on. We're going to do break. We can get our case and this is going to be a mention spam and we're going to go ahead and paste exactly what we had before and here we're going to come up here and we're going to go ahead and get the number so we can do const number equals options that get string and that is going to be number now we're going to change this to rule three for our name we're going to say a prevent spam messages by tutorial but for our trigger metadata we're going to change that to five and then instead of that we can go ahead and do mention total limit and we're going to pass in our number just like that so that's all we have to do there we're actually going to go ahead and edit this stuff so we can make this rule three we're going to make this embed three we can change that in here and one other thing i got the wrong case right here we're just going to go ahead and get the spam messages case instead of the mention spam right there and also we can just go ahead and comment this out because we're not going to need anything in our trigger metadata and we can change the trigger type to three instead of five so finally we can go ahead and break and then we can go ahead and get case and this is going to be mentioned spam this time down here we can go ahead and paste everything so we're going to go ahead and start off by deleting the number because we're not going to need that we can go ahead and change this to rule four. In here, we can say prevent spam mentions by tutorial bot. Now we are actually gonna need this number, which I commented out before. So we're gonna bring that back. Our trigger metadata is actually going to be set to five. And then down here, we can go ahead and change this to rule four. We're gonna make this embed four and we can change that down here as well. And then in here, we can go ahead and say all messages suspected. Now, one other thing here is I did mess up the spelling here. It is custom message with a capital M. So we can go ahead and copy this. We're gonna go ahead and put this in everywhere else. So we can paste that in there. We can go to put that in there. And lastly, we can paste that in there as well. So that's actually all we have to do to set this up. So we can go ahead and turn on the bot and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we're gonna do slash auto mod. We're gonna get all of the subcommands that we set up. So we're gonna start by doing keyword 
keyword and I'm just going to input test as our keyword. It's going to go ahead and load the auto mod rule here. And once it's done, it's going to say that it's been created and I did mess this up. Just make sure you don't do that. Over on our different account that does not have admin perms, we can go ahead and say that keyword, which is test, and it's going to go ahead and block it saying this message was prevented by tutorial bots auto moderation. Now we can say anything with the word test in it and we can say I'm doing a test. It literally doesn't matter. Anything with the word test in it will be blocked. Before we test the next one out, just make sure you go ahead and remove number from the spam messages. And then we can go down to the mention spam and we're actually going to go ahead and put that number variable back in the message spam. The other thing we're going to do to this variable is we're actually going to get the integer instead of get string. And now we can actually go ahead and turn this on and test it out again. So over in the server, we can run slash auto mod and we're going to go ahead and get mention spam and I'm just going to input three. So as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and load my auto mod rule. And then as you can see, it's going to say that it has been created. So now if we go over onto the test account and we're just going to mention me, as you can see, nothing's going to happen. Let's say we mention two people. We do me and tutorial bot. Nothing's going to happen. Let's say we do me and tutorial bot and esky this time. As you can see, nothing's going to happen because it is at exactly three. So if we do me tutorial bot esky and a different tutorial bot, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and block it saying this message was prevented from tutorial bots auto moderation. So basically if I try to mass mention a bunch of people, it's going to go ahead and block that. The next thing we can go ahead and test out is spam. So we can go ahead and get spam messages. We're going to go ahead and set that up. After it's done loading, we can go back over to the server. So any message suspected of spam. So let's say we just go ahead and paste in a bunch of spam here and we can go ahead and send this. As you can see here, it's going to go ahead and block it saying it's been prevented by the auto moderation. Last one is flagged words. So we can go ahead and set that up as well. And once it's done, we can go back over into the server. So this time, if we go ahead and swear, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and block it. Now, I'm not going to say anything worse than that. Um, but basically, if we say in a sentence like I'm at this game and it's going to go ahead and block that as well because of that filter. So that's how you can make an auto moderation system for discord.js version 14 bot. Feel free to play around with this and go ahead and check the docs in the description below because this will give you some more information on creating different rules and different punishments and all that stuff. And if you need any help with that, go ahead and join the server in the description below and you might as well join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.